Hello there friends of YouTube. Well, you wanted to see it and here it is. One big flyback. There's me uh there's a core uh, the primary side which is fire the either side as you would wire a mot up normally. And here, don't ask me how many turns, I cannot remember how many turns, but I've done about five levels of wiring. Uh, what I did, I, this has got a, where is it, this, I've really put it away and I've forgotten. That's the wire I'm using, that I used for it, it's about 20, 28 gauge wire, something like that, that I used to uh, wire the Tesla coil up, the primary. Sorry, the secondary, which is that one there. And uh, I'll show you what I did. <sighs> See this pipe? This is ordinary sink pipe, uh, drain pipe from your sink or your uh, your bath or whatever you want to call it. And what I've done is I cut a piece off round about three and a half inches something like that and stuck it on the end of this motor forced it all the way on and then used my variac to slowly turn the motor around as I slowly fed wire onto it from that big reel and uh, sit back down and then what I did is every time I finished a portion on there I left a bit of a gap here the side um, and then what I did I wrapped it in paper or cardboard and then did another wire a load of wire as I fed it on all the way as neat as possible like that there it's focusing your stupid phone like that and then slowly as I did it I um, slowly put a piece of cardboard then did another wire another piece of cardboard then did another wire another piece of cardboard and then did another wire and so on and until I got to that much wire so that looks a beast I really do like that ignore the wire uh, the insulation tape I was doing something earlier on with uh, where are they where's them where are they bit from me mot uh, me NST I had um, some wire from NST which is there I actually put these over the over the ferrite and tried uh, each of them. Well, I'm just holding the camera properly. And um, but unfortunately, they didn't work very well. Uh, I don't know why, but each one of those gives out 5,000 volts on the NST. You have one there, primary, and one on the other side. But unfortunately, they didn't work. So I had to come in into wiring my own up. It took about about half an hour for me to do that, and there's a bit of vi when I started up. There's a bit of vibration from in between the gaps of the uh, ferrite, but uh, I'll stick stick it on and uh, show you. I'm just have a quick drink of my coffee. <sighs> Nothing like a good cup of coffee. So anyway, this is um, a ZVS driver that I've quickly thrown together. Um, why do I always get an email every time I'm doing a video for you guys? Because it's you guys responding to it. <laughs> so anyway, these are, I've just ordered myself. It's changing the subject. Chuck that cardboard down there. I've just ordered myself from work 20 IRFP260N MOSFETs. And I got them quite cheap. I, um uh, normally these on the internet are about £4 each and I get them for about £1.90 <laughs> I know it's awesome and you guys are probably thinking you lucky kid how come you get them so cheap because I got them at cost from where I work I work in an electrical shop where we sell bits and bobs and I'm quite lucky I get quite a lot of stuff at cost so I get it near enough half the price of what you guys pay so anyway um, I built myself uh, another ZVS driver um, I'll go through it just in case if any of you guys haven't watched me of the video. Don't worry, we're going to get to the part where I start this in a few minutes. Don't worry. Right, these are 15 volt zeners. That's a 10k resistor going across the gate and the uh, source, gate and source. 
and I've got 1k uh, on the primary there resistors and that's a 1 microfarad resistor uh, capacitor and then I've got me ferrite ring there which has got a few turns on it and I've got these fast diodes here which are let's see if I can read it M can't even read the thing there see if we can get a bit of a closer picture so you guys can see it I bet you can't even really read it I can't even see it I'm bloody wondering now what that's called myself what the number is on there I know I can see it's at M is it M U R one five four zero? I think it is something like that. Those fast ones there. I normally use the uh, the U F five four zero eight, the fast uh, switching uh, diodes. But uh, I prefer these because I can stick them down, and plus when they get warm, they can dissipate the heat onto into the uh, heat sink. There's a helicopter above me because at the moment we've got the stupid Olympics on. I'm not really into sport. And uh, the pretty helicopters are uh, just flying overhead, as you can hear, um, watching the Olympics or watching any bad people doing anything wrong in the Olympics, trying to trip people up running or whatever. But anyway, let's get back to the old action. Right, let's switch this on then. I've got it on me uh, Variac, my wonderful 20 amp Variac. And now I'm going to switch it on. So here it goes. Listen to that home. Isn't that awesome? So uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you enjoyed the super output of that. So I'm gonna, I might do some more windings on that and see what output I can get from that. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video, guys. Look after yourselves. Be safe, and we'll speak again. Cheers, guys.